Hi, this is Lake Bishop with Foxtrot Realty. I'm up here at High Point Academy. Um, in the absence of trying to record a video, we're gonna pull down our masks so you can actually see our faces. However, they are being safe wearing masks, masks at the school. Um, I wanna introduce the executive director here at High Point Academy, Carrie Melmet. She wanted to tell us a little bit about what going back to school looks like, what our alternatives and options are. So if you could, tell us a little bit about that. Absolutely, thank you. Well, we're standing out of High Point Academy and we are so excited to welcome students back in August. August 19th is going to be the first day of school whether it is in person or remote. Um, we're spending time behind the scenes working on three different scenarios for the fall. The first one is um, having welcoming students back um, with social distancing regulations like wearing a mask, um, faculty wearing a mask, the potential for faculty and students wearing masks, um, and adhering to six feet uh, social distancing regulations. The second scenario would be um, where we would have to adhere to more strict social distancing and decrease our class sizes to around 12 to 15. If that were the case, we're looking at a scenario where students would have an A day or a B day. Um, we're looking at if, for example, your child is an A day student, um, they would come and have all of their instruction happening on that A day. And the B day, they would leave the building with the take home bag filled with materials that they could do some hands-on work um, on that B day at home. And then the third scenario is a strict remote distancing online scenario. And that would be if it was unsafe because we had multiple COVID cases within our community or in our school building or within the state that would require us to go back to a strict online learning. So we're working on all three of those scenarios right now. Um, we're hopeful that we will be able to bring all of our kids back in the fall um, with some strict precautions um, and regulations in place. So the, the governor did say that they can't really make a decision until two weeks before school starts. So there isn't gonna be any final things in place, but they've been working really hard to have the three different plans ready to go for uh, just so they're prepared. Um, but there, another question we had was, what does this look like for people with immunocompromised children or immunocompromised members of their household? And they actually have a plan ready to go for that as well. Yeah, we sure do. So we will be providing a remote learning option for families. Um, like Lake said, if your child has a compromised immune system or lives with someone um, and it's not safe for them to come to the building, we will have that remote online learning experience. Um, knowing that in some way, shape, or form, we would have online teaching as part of our curriculum and programming. Um, our teachers have engaged in a lot of professional development um, to enhance their abilities with online instruction and online learning this summer. And we're really excited to grow their capacity for our kids in that way. So I know everybody kind of got thrown into the deep end in March with this and uh, you know all the teachers did the best they could but it sounds like they've been doing a lot of preparing to make this a better experience for both parents and children and the staff because it wasn't any fun for the teachers either. Um, so if you could keep an eye out for more videos like this please provide feedback when the school reaches out because they're trying to figure out the best way to do this as well but they are working their butts off this summer to make sure that you have the best experience in the fall. Um, and keep an eye out for more videos because we're going to be doing some updates as we have more information. So thanks guys. Thank you.